Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is the partially deconstructed Dyson CR01 washing machine. I've taken the front off because it wouldn't work and I've replaced the element with a different one and I just want to have a look at the pump down here, this, this yellow thing down here. So this machine has had a hard life. If you look at all this plastic litter, this came out of the machine when I was clearing out the drum. I think really the pump probably has had a lot of work. Even in the last test wash I did, some stuff has come out here, a cotton bud and whatnot. So I've got a big towel. I'm gonna put that beneath the machine. So here's the pump and normally there's a cover on the front of the machine, but to open it, you have to lift up that little yellow tab and then just twist it out. It's quite stiff and you know, water's gonna come out. So be ready to catch it. If you had a bowl, it would work. If we had a bowl, it would work a bit better. There should be a little plug here, but that's been glued together with silicone or some other sealant in the past. And that's it. So there's more plastic litter that has come out in the last wash. I've caught most of it in that little tub. Most of the water. Now, even more plastic. This machine really was quite disgraceful. To get the pump out, we'll need to unclip these two hoses here, which may well indeed have water in them. You can see it gurgling back. This is a siphon. You can hear it gurgling. The siphon's important because without it, I don't think the pump will suck. This hose here comes down from the machine, so I can presume that the machine is quite, quite dry if it's not got any water coming out. So I stick a screwdriver in here and lever this. It's not gonna go, is it? Let's get it in the other side here. I'm trying to lever this uh, clip out. And then it'll all make sense once we get it up on the workbench. Yeah, push that screwdriver in there. Pop this fellow out. we go. So a thing like this is the same on most machines, it um, just snaps in shut. That can be reused. Now, this hose should free itself up if I give it a twist or something. Yeah, there it is, it's coming loose. I'll just tip it over there. It doesn't, it's a bit dirty and rusty in there, there's a bit of something. There was a couple of screws in here when I cleaned the pump or the coin trap previously. I'll put a sock in there to just to hold it out of the way more than anything. I'm going to need a pliers on this clip here. This is the outlet hose. Just grip it and lift, wiggle it and lift it up. If it'll move. And just let it off again. Now, there should be a little metal tab down here. If you can see behind, it'll become clear down here. There's a little metal tab and I've pushed that in to be able to free this up. So by giving that a twist, the grey hose will twist out. I'm hoping it doesn't spill water everywhere, so I'm trying to pull it forward. No, it's okay. And then in here, there are two connectors. At the back, live and neutral. So in here, there's two connectors, live and neutral. I need to wiggle them off. I don't know. They're brown and blue, but I don't know that they're actually live and neutral or not. Um, it does say, it does say L and N, so maybe they are live and neutral. Here's my pump. It's got three torque screws, so we can open it up and just check that it's clean inside and then probably give it a scrub because it's pretty, pretty grim. Okay, up to the bench. So up on the workbench then, let's have a look at this. If I take off these three screws, the yellow should fall off the back. This is a standard washing machine pump unit on the back. It should pull off. There we go. That looks quite healthy in there, really. Just a standard machine. I know it works because we've seen it on the machine. In here, 
It appears to, there's a plastic insert in there, so how would that be put in? I don't know, but there's bits of stuff caught in it, you see. Fluff. So I'll give this a scrub and uh, we'll come back. I'll pull out this rubber ring here and give it a clean as well. And I'll give the door and the siphon a clean too. So I've given it a wash, but it hasn't come out that clean. There's a kind of a scale in the bottom that the brush couldn't reach. Soap scum or something. This is a metal spike here, an engineer's scribe and... It's, yeah, it's got scale along here, it's got rust discoloration up on top. I'm not too worried about it really, but I thought I'd like to clean it, but... It doesn't look like that's going to be completely possible. my best though. I'm not entirely sure. There's a second piece of plastic in here. Some kind of an insert and it's got crud all around it. built up over the years, you know. Not entirely sure how you could even release that. So I don't see it getting much cleaner. There's a bit of snot in the bottom. Let's give our attention to this. Just wipe that down a bit. I'll start putting it back together, I think. I think that way is up. Three screws. There wasn't really much to it. I was hoping to, that it would be more interesting or that there'd be something blocked in it or something because it wasn't, it didn't appear to be working correctly. It's a plazet pump. Let's have a look. That's just a standard thing. Now, where I was struggling before was to get this rubber seal in correctly so that the thing wouldn't leak. That's the top. It goes in all around. Plastic's a bit damaged here in there. It shouldn't affect it though. I'm not sure why it was leaking. Sometimes the tiniest bit of grit in something like this will cause it to leak. That's the siphon. It only goes in one way, facing downwards. So that's the top. Looks like, I think, the thing, the, the baddies out of Pac-Man. And here's this fellow, and it's threads in. It's only got a single thread, starting here and ending here. So where do you start it? Do you start on the bottom? You put the thing up, start twisting, and that's it, I think. So it shouldn't leak. It doesn't go any tighter because of this tab on the top. I'll reinstall it and I'll do another wash, but that's pretty much it for this video. So let's attempt to reinstall this pump, live and neutral, go the appropriate way up. I don't actually know that it matters which way around these things go. Now put that in a bit further and then we'll get this hose here on. I'll just wiggle it into position. 
push it down as far as it'll go pretty much and then get the clamp and drop it down there we go at this point I'll clip this fellow on pull the sock out slide this over this is liable if it has a bit of grit in there to leak I can feel some feels better. If these things won't slide on, you can put a bit of moisture on them. Like spit or something. Shouldn't be necessary in this case. Says I fumbling away. There we go. That's it. Walk it on. The clip goes on. Next. And you just put that in position and start snapping it and then with the big pliers just walk it home and it won't there's a ridge on the end of that plastic so it won't be able to come off but I think it should go one more click really needs to come on square that pliers isn't big enough if I roll it round to the front again that's it, one more click, there we go it's a lot tighter there right and that's me fitted so there's cleaning the Dyson pump Questions or comments, leave them below. A like would be appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. See you later.